Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market for Wednesday, December 16, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So the link is down below. You're very welcome. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And first of all, we have to mention that the US dollar index yet again uh, started depreciating today and is trading at basically a two years low. And that has had major implications for most of these currency pairs. As you can see, for the Great British Pound, we rallied from the 40 exponential moving average all the way up. We were nearly 1.3%, and that's 172 pips when at most. We have given some of those gains back. And the reason why we have given some of those gains back is because we're finding resistance here. So this is an area where we have found resistance in the past. We can see here just only three weeks ago. Also here in September, where we topped. And also back here in December, to this is December 2019. We also ran into the resistance there, and so it was a way in the past. So this is a um, this is a level that has been um, trouble. You can mention say that in the past, and therefore we're also running into resistance now. If you look at the technical indicator for the Great British Pound, the U.S. dollar, we can see that uh, most of these indicators are turning around. So this is a very bullish shine. We went all the way down to 1313 uh, and we have rallied up towards 1345 and that's roughly 2.42% um, or 318 pips. So that is quite a, a nice rally for only four days of trading. So these indicators, they are also showing that we most likely will break these levels. The stochastic is very bullish, the same as for the RSI. The same is for the CCI and the MACD is basically turning around quite aggressively here and is probably going to cross the signal line to the upside indicating bullish momentum in a day or two. So we may have a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average before we go higher. Um, otherwise, if we break these highs and take out these previous highs here, then we are going significantly higher. No interest in basically shorting this at this point. Um, there is also good news uh, on the Brexit front, and that is also um, making this currency big going higher. But also the depreciation of the US dollar index or the weakening of the US dollar is uh, making this currency pair go higher. So US dollar yen, as you can see, also due to the depreciation of the US dollar, we have fallen quite um, uh, well. We're down 0 0.39 at this point. And uh, that is roughly, that is roughly, how much? Roughly uh, 41 pips. So not a whole lot, but it, this was basically expected. We have been in a, a downward channel for quite some time. And uh, we ran into resistance only four days ago when we ran into the 50 moving average. And we have basically been starting this decline since then. So the 50 moving average, the 100 moving average, and this trend line here have been significant resistance. So every time we get close to the 50 moving average or the 100 moving average, it is time to sell this. This has been going on now for ever, all the way back to March. Um, so when we get to these lows, it is time to buy. When we get to these highs, it's time to sell. And that makes this uh, currency pair very predictable. At this point, we're running into some support here. If we manage to take out these lows from yesterday, then we may go all the way down to this trend line here. Otherwise, we may see some choppiness, pullbacks towards the 50, go down and then probably uh, head significantly down if the US dollar depreciates even more. So if you look at the US dollar, uh, Euro US dollar, we are making a uh, flag here or it looks like a flag pattern and this may be an indication that we are going to shoot significantly higher from here we are overbought at this point so a pullback towards the 20 exponential that would make sense a pullback trade here for a few more days and then go much higher that is most likely what is going to happen here however technical indicators here are well as you can see 
RSI is or bought. Sarcastic is bullish. The MACD is looking more and more bear or flat or bearish. And so is the CCI. So we may expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential. If that is the case and it holds, then it is a buying opportunity. If the 20 exponential breaks, then we're heading down towards the, the 40 exponential at 11 and 98. But that is highly unlikely at this point. The most likely is that we pull back towards the 20 exponential. That's roughly um, that's roughly 0.67%. Uh, and then we go higher from there, probably towards 12 uh, 12 uh, 25 give or take so you all see us dollar we can see that we have rallied again but we have yet again found resistant here around 0 0.75 71 at this point we are significantly overbought these indicators they are still bullish both the stochastic macd um, and the cci is basically flat at this point so we could expect a pullback towards the 20. And if they do, that is a major buying opportunity. As you can see, every single time we get close to the 20 exponential moving average, we have rallied. So here, here, and also here and here. So that is just an indication that we are going, we are able to buy. To buy it here is quite risky because we are overbought. Um, it could also be that we'll trade sideways. So we'll break down to these lows and then go up and just have a very narrow channel here where we trade until we basically go higher. So no interest in basically selling this at this point. Uh, I am definitely the buyer if you go towards the 20 exponential. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have broken these previous lows and now we're trading at 1.269. And uh, at this point, a pullback is expected. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that's roughly 1.1% 1. Uh, 1, 1 or uh, yes, give or take, because we are significantly oversold at this point. These technical indicators are still uh, very bearish, but because we are so uh, oversold, a pullback towards at least these previous highs, that is expected or towards the 20 exponential. So pull back somewhere here and then go and then go lower from there we are in a downward basically downward trend we have been for a very long time all the way since this um, this peak here this is back in in march we have been basically trending downward so it has fallen roughly 13.5 uh, percent since march and that is quite a lot to be fairly honest, and there doesn't look like any um, end to this fall. So a pullback towards the 20, definitely a selling opportunity. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.